Emig task number four, intracorporeal knot tying. To perform this task, you will be provided with two laparoscopic needle drivers. You will also be provided with one Maryland grasper to use in place of one of the needle drivers if you choose. And you will also be provided with one pair of laparoscopic scissors. You will be required to pick a side of the lap trainer to stand on. You must remain on this side of the trainer for the duration of the task. You may utilize any of the ports on the trainer. The pen rows will be set at a 45 degree angle either toward or away from you inside the lapper bowl. You will be provided with a piece of suture that has been cut to 15 centimeters in length on a curved needle. You will use this suture to close the opening in the pen rose drain utilizing the intracorporeal knot tying method. Your first throw is required to be a double throw followed by two individual single throws. The maximum time limit for this task is 10 minutes or 600 seconds. Timing will begin when an instrument is visible on the monitor and ends when the needle end of the suture has been cut from the completed knot inside the trainer. Errors will include any deviations from the marks on the pen rows, tearing through the pen rows, incomplete closure of the pen rows, knots that either slip or come apart under tension or have gaps in them also known as air knots, and Penrose avulsion. Timing begins when an instrument is visible on the monitor. You are required to introduce the suture into the lap trainer by holding the suture, not the needle. You will use the instruments to pass the needle through both marks on the Penrose as closely as possible. Any deviation from these marks will be considered an error. Your first throw is required to be a double throw. You will follow that with two individual single throws. Once you have completed all of your throws, you will bring your laparoscopic scissors in and cut the needle end off of your completed knot. 